ghost of the blind musician. Once upon a time, there was a young merchant named Hatsumi. Every year, he would make a journey to the capital to expand his business. That year, as usual, he stopped by a roadside inn to rest on his way to the capital. Welcome, dear guest. Please rest here. Does the inn have good food and wine? Of course. Not only is our food and wine excellent, but we also have clean and airy rooms that will make you feel very comfortable. Good. Very good. Please, come in. Dear guest, I've had the room cleaned just for you. Please, feel free to go up and rest. Hey, innkeeper, do you have courtesans here? Ah, uh, sorry, sir. No. Our inn is purely for food and lodging. <laughs> oh, running an inn without those kinds of services is such a waste. Really. To be honest, I'm a businessman too. So let me give you some advice. You should offer that service to make more money. Yes, sir, you have a point. I'll consider your advice. Point? I'll consider your advice. I mean it. Anyway, I'll head up to my room now. Yes, please, dear guest. Mm. I think I hear music from somewhere. Oh, how beautiful it sounds like. The same music from earlier, but now they're singing too. The voice is so pure and soothing. Ah, such a wonderful voice paired with such soft music must belong to a truly beautiful woman. Oh, her delicate fingers dancing over the strings, her shiny hair, her red lips. She must be somewhere in this inn. I must find her, find out which room she is in. Oh my, how sweet. She must be so beautiful. If only she were my lover, how great that would be. To have such a companion in a desolate place would be perfect. Yes, this lonely inn, where so few people come, why not give myself a chance, instead of wasting time pursuing her? Especially since I need to reach the capital on time. I could have her in no time, and who would know? <laughs> I'll wait until tomorrow night. I hear footsteps. She must be coming back. Oh, my heart is racing. I'm so excited. She's getting so close. Oh, I can smell her fragrance in the air. It's wonderful. I can't resist this temptation any longer. The time has come. I can't believe she didn't resist at all. <laughs> My dear, last night was such a joy. Thank you for not rejecting me. Would you like to come with me to the capital? Greetings, sir. You, 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 blind. Yes, I am, Goz. Goes. The name given to blind women who travel playing music for a living. That's right. I thought... What did you think? But how can you play and sing so beautifully when... When I'm blind? Being blind doesn't mean I'm useless or that I can't sing or play music. If you'd like, I can sing and play for you every day. Ah, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. You sing and play wonderfully. Because I'm blind. 
I don't ask for much. You are the first to come close to me. I am already yours. Wherever you go, I will follow. Where are you going? No, no, I'm not going anywhere. Why do I hear the door creaking? Maybe it's the door to the room next door. This is awful. She's so ugly. She makes me feel sick. What should I do now? Why? How could such a beautiful voice come from such a hideous body? And she's blind too. She's nothing like what I imagined. It would be terrible if I had to take responsibility for her life. Do I really have to accept this? At last, I found my love. Thank you for... Sir! Sir? I can't believe she's that ugly! It's horrible! And last night... Oh God, I don't want to think about it anymore. If he actually runs away, I'll report him. I'll tell them he defiled a gauze girl. What a scoundrel. What? She'll report me. I... I've made a mistake with her. If I run away, I'll be caught. And my life will be over because of this ugly, blind girl. What do I do now? All right. If you want to come with me, I'll take you. But don't regret it later. I've thought it over. I'll take you with me. What? What did you say? I'll take you with me. Do you want to come? Really? You don't mind that I'm blind? Not at all. A blind girl only knows she's blind. Not that she's also very ugly. How pitiful. I'm misunderstood. I thought poorly of you. I, I, sorry. If I can go with you, that would be the greatest blessing and happiness for me. Thank you so much. Thank you for not minding that I'm blind. Anyway, I must take responsibility for your life. I can't leave you here alone. You re are a good person. All right, rest now. We'll set off tomorrow morning. Yes. From now on, I will belong to you forever. Everything will be in your hands, and I will follow you. Now's the time. This place is so deserted. I need to act quickly. Are you tired? Let's rest over there for a while. Let me hold your hand so we can move faster. Meeting a good man like you? I feel my life is fulfilled. I'm so fortunate. Have we reached the resting place, dear? Yes. We're here. I will let you rest forever. What did you say? Did you think I'd bring a girl who is both Ugly and blind along with me. Sir. Naive. So naive. What are you planning to do? I already told you. I will let you rest forever. I'm sorry. But there's no other choice. If I leave you at the inn alone, you'll report me. And a warrant will be issued. Everywhere. Do you think I'd let my life be ruined by a girl as hideously ugly as you? Would I be so foolish as to drive my life into a dead end like that? Never. Farewell, ugly, blind girl. No, no! A year later, it was again time for Hotsumi to head to the capital. He had completely forgotten about what he did to the blind girl the previous year. 
This time, to avoid the old inn, he took a different route. Wow, just one year, and I feel like my health has declined so much. My feet are already sore after walking just a few miles. I probably need to find a place to rest. I heard there's a temple up ahead. I'll ask to stay there for the night. This is the safest place. Who's there? Clearly, I closed the window before going to sleep. So why is it wide open now? Never mind. Maybe the wind blew it open. There's no such thing as ghosts. Who's there? Ghost. So, you know fear? Who? Who? Who are you? You forget so quickly. It's only been a year. I... I didn't do anything. Go away. If you know fear, why did you dare commit such cruel act? I... I didn't do anything to you. Go away. Don't haunt me. You insist on denying it. Denying what happened last year. You violated my body, then discarded me like some worthless object, even though I was blind and begged you. But you were cruel and heartless. Have we reached the resting place, dear? Yes, we're here. I will let you rest forever. What did you say? Did you think I'd bring a girl who is both ugly and blind along with me? Sir? Naive. So naive. What are you going to do? I already told you. I will let you rest forever. I'm sorry. But there's no other choice. If I leave you at the inn alone, you'll report me. And a warrant will be issued everywhere. Do you think I'd let my life be ruined by a girl? as hideously ugly as you. Would I be so foolish as to drive my life into a dead end like that? Never. Farewell, ugly, blind girl. No, no! I am Goose. Goose, Goose, Goose. What? You're the blind musician from before? Do you remember now? I beg you to spare me. You are a despicable man. You killed a pure soul like mine just because I was ugly. Just because I didn't satisfy your desires. Was it worth it? I, I, please don't hurt me. A vile, wicked person like you shouldn't exist in this world. It wasn't in vain that I waited here for you for a whole year. No, no. I beg you. Spare my life. I promise. <laughs> it's too late. You won't survive, wicked man. Uh, uh, uh! Let me go. Uh, Please spare my life! This will be your resting place. No! No! Last night there were terrible noises. Did anyone hear them? I heard the wind howling and screams. Everyone, come to the temple cemetery and see. Something terrible has happened. Huh? What happened? Oh my god, it's so horrible. This is the body of the man who stayed here last night. Why is he being held tightly by the skeleton of a woman? Isn't this the grave of the blind musician goes? Perhaps he did something terrible to her, and now he faces retribution.